with environmental protection and this is one of the law this is one of the law which is there which is uh, uh, referred as one of the environmental uh, united states environmental law united states environmental law okay and as i told you the incidents uh, where nepa has result, uh, resulted into the act okay into the act okay konta ahe konta incidents hai to apeksha ka asta hai यूनाइटेड स्टेट इन्वायरमेंटल लॉ ठीक है विच इज रेफर्ड एज यूनाइटेड स्टेट्स इन्वायरमेंटल लॉन एज आई टोल यू द डेट डेट ऑफ इनैक्टमेंट ऑफ द सेम लॉ एक्ट दैट इज नेपा नेपा सो जानेवारी फर्स्ट नाइनटीन सेवेंटी जानेवारी फर्स्ट ऑफ नाइनटीन सेवेंटी इज द डेट ऑफ इनैक्टमेंट and the responsible incidents santa barbara oil spill take up from where it is from the california from the california at present how many countries which are involved in it how many countries are involved in it uh, there are uh, more than 100 means approximately 106 countries which are involved with it okay then uh, which has play a crucial role uh, which has uh, nepa has played a very crucial role in terms of what in terms of different compliance related documents okay where environmental protection agency epa is one of the don word that there are two words for which we must know the difference epa is the short form used to know the word epa means environmental protection agency and environmental protection act but the in for our betterment we use the word epa as environmental protection act but the actual long term for the epa is environmental protection agency remember well environmental protection agency hmm? then remember well epa plays a unique role in the as i told you that is from the nepa process epa has the responsibility has the responsibility to prepare the documents required for the compliance purpose what is the compliance for what purpose uh, compliance is uh, 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 what do we say received what is the uh, cause or what is the reason to get the compliance if we talk about the any kind of project any kind of project it may require compliance it may require compliance okay so uh, as per as the uh, rules are there as per as the standards are there as per as the a uh, degrading uh, state of resources are there we need to go with the standards we need to set few standards okay like like a uh, duration or the years of the permission which is given for the vehicles okay same same way standards which are given for the building constructions like 100 years for the vehicular uh, parts or for the vehicles it is around 15 years okay for what purpose it is to avoid the negative causing impacts on the surrounding to avoid it okay so remember well remember well ep has the responsibility to prepare the documents for the compliance purpose as i told you just before then epa would charge under the section of 309 of clean air act of 1953 in air act of 1953 where eis are prepared eis environmental impact statements are prepared okay eis and uh, eis for what purpose eis are prepared to get the eis environmental impact assessments eis is one of the document which is very needful for the for the preparation of ei environmental impact assessment reports okay then what is the national environmental policy act and what may it includes as a, uh, i think i have given you the explanation for the first point so to make decisions make deci- making decisions on the permit applications okay what is the eia what is the eia it is all it is one of the permit application it is one of the permit application that is what the uh, eia okay so as i told you nepa is involved with the compliance of these documents like eis Okay, in the EIA. So, first point is making decisions uh, on permit applications. Okay, permit applications. Second point, point in it. 
सेकंड पॉइंट महत्वाचा आहे दॅट इज अडॉप्टिंग अडॉप्टिंग फेडरल लँड मॅनेजमेंट ॲक्शन्स अडॉप्टिंग फेडरल फेडरल लँड मॅनेजमेंट लँड मॅनेजमेंट ॲक्शन्स ओके मीन्स फेडरल मीन्स वॉट त्याला आपण मराठीमध्ये सांगिक असा शब्द वापरतो संघ रिलेटेड ऑर्गनायझेशन रिलेटेड राईट so it adopting federal land management actions the actions which are concerned with the land management jala apan the documents like any documents like a few of the important uh, acts concerned with the land acquisition etc etc right so it is concerned with the adopting adopting federal land management actions and the last is last is constructing highways constructing highways and other publicly owned facilities means the areas which comes under the nepa to comply the uh, to prepare documents required for the compliance then one more part which child under the section of 309 of clean air act means which comes under the clean air related uh, phenomena or issues then adopting federal land management actions adopting uh, federal land management action means which comes under the land acquisitions etc etc then uh, highways and publicly owned facilities which are governed which comes under the control of nepa which comes under the nepa okay india is one of the country one of the countries who accepted the nepa okay us law us environmental law okay now uh, national environmental policy environmental policy act which goes with a few of the important processes like one of the uh, crucial review process is the review process okay so national environmental policy act review process which goes through three important words three important points which are those three important points number 1 is the catex is the catex capital catex okay c a t e x what is the catex categorical exclusion determination categorical exclusion determination is the first point under this categorical exclusion determination catex okay then then second is second is environmental assessment e a or fonsi e a or tala dusra ek shabd ahe fonsi f o n s i is the long form theek okay? hai first is the catex whereas second is the f o n s i fonsi what is the uh, fonsi that is what the finding of finding of no significant impact no significant impact referred as fonsi okay referred as fonsi okay so uh, this is the second one or also referred as uh, uh, what the environmental assessment and the third is as i told you earlier that is what the environmental impact statement eis eis these are the three important levels of analysis under the review process of national environmental policy act and those are catex fonsi and eis categorical exclusion determination second is the finding of no significant impact and last is the environmental impact statement environmental impact statement these are the three important words or levels of the review process of the nepa ha prashna nehmi vichala jato asto exam madhe msc cha exam madhe describe in detail nepa theek hai so you should write the year of enactment the uh, review process and what it may include means the broad structure of the nepa you should write so as i told you these are the three uh, crucial points catex fonsi and eis okay short for the sampani catex fonsi and eis then question may arise what is the catex explanation can be given for this catex categorical determination exclusion exclusion determination okay so what is the catex what is the catex what do you think categorical exclusion determination means what means what few of the processes few of the processes 
goes with some of the important uh, what you may say uh, with the uh, important ways or methods with or methods like like uh, ei if suppose ei is there which goes with with approximately 16 different categories of the analysis 16 different categories one of the category is, it may be referred as the road construction one of the category it may be infrastructural development for the society building construction etc etc one of the category may concern with the manufacturing industries one of the category may include service industries etc so which comes under the different categories so all of the categories to cover the all the all of the categories is not possible is it possible to cover all the categories it is not so so categorical exclusion determination means by determining by fixing by considering all the objectives all the what may say objectives of the uh, uh, proposed activity proposed activity is it possible to include the same activity into the same into the NEPA? This ref, this is referred to the exclusion. This is referred to the categorical exclusion determination, which is determined, which is determined. Okay, uh, which comes under the catex, which comes under the catex. What is then FONSI means what? What is the FONSI? F O N S I finding of no significant impact right if there is significant impact if suppose one of the uh, industry or one of the activity or uh, uh, any commercial uh, place or the uh, organization which placed or established nearby society which may have which may have some of the negative impacts over the surrounding am i right am i right because of every yeah. activity has every activity has few of the impacts right few of the impacts so so it is needed to avoid the impacts it is needed to avoid the impacts of proposed activity on the society or on the human beings it may be on the biotic or it may be on the abiotic factors right so finding of no significant impact means what there should not be any kind of significant impact. What is the meaning of significant impact? Impact and significant impact. Okay, means what? Larger impact, which may have larger uh, effect, called as significant impact. Some of the uh, long term and uh, larger effects are there, and some of the short term. And uh, for the uh, what we may say, uh, what we may say shorter uh, impacts are there Sh uh, long term short term okay for the longer areas for the shorter areas and the nature of impact may be shorter or maybe the longer okay if it is longer it may be if it may have the highest impact if it may have the uh, adverse maximum adverse impact said to be uh, said to be uh, said uh, it is said to be uh, the significant impact, right? So, so if it have the larger impact, it must be avoided. So, finding of no significant impact is one of the uh, review process. One of the second point under the review process. Review process. Why it is uh, why it is needed? Why review process is needed in the NEPA? Nepa Made review process kagarisha hai. Why it is needed? Because of because of it it goes with the it goes with the some of the categories, categorical exclusion. Okay. So that's why it is the first it is the first point under this, under the Nepa review process. Nepa review process. Okay. Review. Okay. Means repeated reviewing of the same. Then next is as I told you the EA from the uh, FONSI EA from the FONSI which may generally include some of the uh, important points like the need of the proposal 
need of the proposal then alternatives if needed alternatives what kind of alternative strategies are there in case of significant impact alternative impact if the uh, specific process has the maximum negative impact so it may be uh, replaced it may be replaced by giving the alternative to this okay alternative to this so it is about the alternatives the environmental impacts of the proposed actions and alternatives environmental impacts okay should be should uh, be or must be short term or should be uh, should not have any kind of significant impact okay should uh, should not have any significant impact so this kind of identification uh, is observed in the same in the yeah, fancy and the last is a listing of agencies and persons uh, concerned with it okay concerned with uh, with it so it is about the fancy then then just, just, uh, 